Hello and welcome to pmplounge.com. Today we are discussing yet another very important topic uh, from PMP exam perspective which will help you score some handy marks in the exam. We are discussing present value which is also known as PV and net present value which is also known as NPV. Although we have a very comprehensive video which covers all the formulas that you need to know about uh, going about the, all your calculation questions in the PMP exam. So I will link to that video in the description below. Do go over it, do watch that video. It is absolutely very helpful and you are definitely going to uh, be thankful to PMP Lounge for putting out that video because that's one single video with absolutely every single PMP formula that you should know of before going to the exam. So that's a helpful video. I'll link to it in the description. Do go over it. Do check that out and come back here and understand what PV and NPV are. So let's get started. So the formula for PV or present value is FV divided by 1 plus R to the power N. Here, PV is the present value, FV is the future value, R is the rate of interest, and N is the number of years. Now, here, all these values, PV, FV, typically we have these values in terms of currencies. These are basically dollar values, or if you're in India, these are rupee values. If you're in Japan, these are yen values. Although, of course, from exam perspective, you are bound to see dollar values. So PV and FV are basically dollar values. Um, these are numbers, right? These, this is money at the end of the day. R is the rate of interest, which will be in percentage. And N is the number of years, not the number of months. This is number of years so if we are talking about one year the value of n will be one all right let's move on so we just looked at the formula right so that we, we looked at the formula first so that it's easier for you to understand the concept of present value why we have two values there right present value pv and future value fv will thousand dollar today become something different in the future well it does how let's take a look money in present is more valuable than the same amount of money in the future so read that sentence again money in present is more valuable than the same amount of money in the future now you may ask are you trying to tell me that thousand dollars today is more valuable than thousand dollars in the future think about it isn't it true let's try to understand through an example the stuff that you can get for one hundred dollar today is much more than what you would get for one hundred dollar five years down the line now just think about what all you could have bought with hundred dollar five years ago five years back in time and now Think about what all you can buy with the same hundred dollars. Much less, right? So that means the value of hundred dollars has changed. The stuff that you can buy with the same hundred dollar bill is much less now. If not much less, it is at least a little lesser than what you would get five years ago. Another example to clarify this, um, just so you know, you'll get an even better idea. So if you receive $10,000 today and deposit it into a bank earning 4% interest per year, one year from now, you would have $10,400, which is 400 additional dollars in terms of interest. So $10,000 today, but $10,400 in the future a year from now here the present value of ten thousand four hundred dollars is so basically the present value 
is ten thousand four hundred dollars right when r that is the rate of interest is four percent is 0 0.04 that you can use for calculation and n is one year which is you know you you're putting the the money in the bank for an year so the present value of ten thousand four hundred dollars as of today as it stands today is ten thousand dollars so i'll repeat that if you have a rate of interest of four percent if you plan to keep the money in the bank for one year that means r is four percent and n is one year the present value of ten thousand four hundred dollars is ten thousand dollars so that is what this formula is used for. Also note that the future value in this example is $10,400. So the present value is $10,000. The future value is $10,400. The rate of interest is 4%. And of course, N is one year. Now, again, the formula, keep the formula in mind. PV is equals to FV divided by 1 plus R to the power n which was there in the previous slide and you can go back to the video and refer to that now you may be wondering why is this important why are we even discussing this right this is this seems like a lot of calculation this seems like mathematics even basic mathematics why do we need to calculate the present value and future value something which is totally financial you know financial finance related why do we need to calculate that when you are appearing for the pmp exam so our favorite question for each video and we start most of our videos with this question why is this important we have already discussed what pv is and this was actually the right time to answer the question why is this important number one in the exam you may receive a question or two that asks you to calculate the present value so you will have the values the future value the rate of interest and the number of years and you might be asked to calculate pv now at the same time you can also come across a question or two based on npv which is net present value now of course your question next question is what is npv what is net present value where did where did this come from so let's discuss npv net present value is basically used as a project selection technique to make sure the project is worth doing now you won't be asked to calculate npv so the thumb rule is to select the project with the highest net present value makes sense right let's go back to the formula of present value pv is equals to fv divided by one plus r to the power n now which project will you take right the one with the highest net present value you're not supposed to calculate the net present value but just think in terms of pv itself won't you select a project which will give you which will be much more valuable right for you in terms of the money that you're investing today the value that you will get out of that project is much higher than what you're spending today so that is the kind of uh, analysis that you need to do and that is the kind of analysis that goes through when you are selecting a project so a lot of talking right let's see a sample question to understand this there are four projects to be chosen from project a has npv of thirty two thousand five hundred dollars project b has npv of thirty five thousand dollars project c has npv of forty five thousand dollars and project d has npv of ten thousand dollars which project should be chosen remember the thumb rule the thumb rule that i mentioned in the previous slide was always select the project 
with the highest NPV. The question is not asking you to calculate present value. The question is not asking you to calculate NPV. It is simply asking you which of these projects will you choose. The thumb rule, choose the one with the highest NPV. The answer is project C as it has the highest NPV of $45,000. Will you get a question as simple as this in the PMP exam? Not likely, but we you will get certain questions based on NPV and it might be twisted around and you may have to play with numbers. You might have to select the PV first and stuff like that. There are other concepts of uh, project selection, uh, which are uh, IRR internal rate of return payback period which we will discuss in the future videos but for now it's important to understand what PV is what the formula of PV is and what NPV is and how you can select a question a project based just on the value of NPV so that is all that we had in this video hope you liked it do hit the like button and uh, do subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash PMP Lounge. If you haven't done so already, click on the bell icon to make sure you receive all of our videos. Check us out on our social media, facebook.com slash PMP Lounge and twitter.com slash PMP Lounge. As always, do check out the website pmplounge.com, your number one free resource for PMP certification as well as project management industry information. Thank you.